airports, train stations, shipping ports. They are the hubs that connect our world and keep it moving. This dock is an extraordinary snapshot of the global economy. Every Tuesday, CNN takes a close look at what makes these vital gateways work. What's coming in and going out? Who's behind the scenes and how it all comes together? I'm Becky Anderson. Join me on the gateway. Every Tuesday in Connect the World on CNN in association with Russian Railways. Legendary director Alfred Hitchcock embraced the public myth that he had each of his movies completely plotted out before he ever started shooting. The newly discovered sketches might just best that myth. See what you think next on The Revealer. Every single thing that you see is of somebody's imagination. Every frame, every little design, every blade of grass, every little piece of fur on a character, everything you see, somebody had a dream about. Icon, Sunday, only on CNN. He's been called the master of suspense, but Alfred Hitchcock isn't without a bit of mystery of his own. Some rare, recently discovered sketches are actually storyboards from one of his movies. And they seem to offer new insights into the legendary director's creative mind. Nick Glass has the story in this edition of The Revealer. know the movies and those Hitchcock moments seared into the collective memory. Cary Grant menaced by a crop duster in North by Northwest. James Stewart with camera and long lens, wheelchair bound in rear window. And most terrifying of all, the shower sequence in Psycho. Hitchcock always had a way with an image even with something as slight as a doodle of himself. People forget that he started out directing silent pictures. His sculpted head rests Buddha-like in the middle of a block of flats in North London, the site of an old film studio. I don't care whether it's English audiences, American, Japanese, they're all the same. They all love to enjoy fear. They uh, wallow in um, terror, and they always get off giggling. Just outside London at the British Film Institute archive, they're rediscovering early Hitchcock. Among the thousands of silent movies here are the so-called Hitchcock Nine. An appeal has been launched for one and a half million dollars to restore them. He's the most written about film director. You'd think there would be nothing left to find out. And yet as we're going through this process, we're finding stuff out about every film. There are um, different edits, different versions, different materials. There is stuff coming in from all over the world to try and help to put these films back together. Hitchcock directed his first movie at the age of just 25. This is the first shot of The Pleasure Garden from 1926, chorus girls on a spiral staircase. Hitchcock always loved a good staircase. The archive is still trying to settle on a definitive version of the picture. Three differing prints survive from Holland, America and Britain. In the case of The Lodger, a Jack the Ripper type story, no one is certain how the movie is supposed to begin. In one version it opens with a woman screaming, silently of course, in another, a pale-faced man creeps down a staircase and vanishes into the night just before a murder. More than 30 years after his death, can the master of suspense still surprise us? Is there any more to learn about his working methods? Well, a rather intriguing manuscript has just been sold at a London auction. Recovered from a dusty attic in southern England, the cover's well-worn but the word stage fright written in ink just happened to be the title of a Hitchcock movie from 1950. How many pages are there? Uh, about 130. 
And how much of the movie? It's about two thirds. We know Hitchcock used storyboard artists in planning his movies. We didn't know he apparently sometimes drew rough storyboards himself. If authentic, here the great man is visualizing his movie for the first time. Some sketches come with camera directions. A man in a hat enters the room. We look where he looks. Pans off to is the direction. We see a poker on the floor. And then dollies across to, and we see a body. And that's exactly how Hitchcock filmed it. Just one sweeping camera move. The director encouraged the myth that he had each movie in his head before he filmed it, shot for shot. But the sketches suggest he wasn't slavish about storyboards. He improvised a little. There are quite a lot of changes. There are sequences that were elaborated on, other sequences that were dropped. Um, little changes, and you know, one or two sheets he writes either or, and obviously he wasn't sure what he wanted until, until he saw it. In the sketches, the man in the hat enters a house, climbs the stairs and reaches a door at the top. Was that how Hitchcock originally imagined filming it in three or more shots? He chose instead to put the camera on a crane and follow his actor Richard Todd stealing into the house and all the way up the staircase in a single virtuoso flourish. John Russell Taylor, Hitchcock's official biographer, witnessed the director at work on his last few films in the 1970s. I don't think Hitchcock himself did any of the, the storyboards. They'd always be done by the art director or the set designer or whatever. By chance, Russell Taylor owns storyboards from another movie, Spellbound, drawn by an art director, but with Hitchcock's sketches on the margins. So I showed him a storyboard from Stage Fright. Ah, well, now this might possibly be from um, Hitch's own hand, because this sort of rather basic elementary sort of thing is, is rather like what he's done on the margins of my spellbound ones. But I must say, all the same, I'm surprised. I think that could possibly be by Hitchcock, yes. Thanks. And it's very interesting. Film buffs still live in hope of one last great discovery, a print of the Mountain Eagle, the only Hitchcock silent picture that's missing. Is it out there somewhere in a rusty can in another dusty attic? Great stuff. And you can see new installments of our Revealer series on Backstory starting in September. But right now, that is the end of this Best of Backstory. I'm Fanula Sweeney. Thanks for watching. I'll see you with Backstory on Monday. I'm a CNN hero. CNN heroes find solutions. I want a society free of human trafficking. It's about lots of little acts of love. Do you know a hero? Nominate today at CNNHeroes.com. Who in my life?